this one. Dear guests, we are happy to greet you on the welcoming Kazakh soil. Dear Oleg, dear Alexei, dear Jeff, I'd like to thank you and congratulate you on the successful completion of your space mission. The Kazakh tradition wants you to have the souvenirs that would remind you about your landing and return to Earth. Thank you very much. Everything went nominal. Everything was smooth. Our mission is complete. I'd like to say thank you for your support, for meeting us. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, everybody who took part in this press conference wishes you the speediest recovery and uh, speedy meeting their friends and relatives. Thank you. NASA's Jeff Williams back from 172 days in space. Welcome back to Earth. Glad to have you back. How for, Start us off. How's that ride down? Thank you. It's great to be back. Uh, the ride is uh, as amazing as ever, as I remember it before. Uh, of course, you leave station. It's, it's, a, it's a bitter, bittersweet time leaving station, saying goodbye to our friends, um, and knowing that uh, we're gonna not uh, we're gonna miss the experience up there. Uh, but it's uh, at the same time you want to get back for your family, to get back there, see everybody that uh, you haven't seen for for months and months. The ride down um, the entry is just amazing. It's so dynamic mm -hmm. uh, to see the uh, fireball form outside the capsule and you're coming through the fireball and yeah. pulling up to four Gs and a little more. Um, and then the parachute opening sequence, it's the longest 20 or 25 seconds of your life waiting for it to come open. Uh, and then of course, it was a, a great relief to uh, hear the search and rescue right away. Uh, I think even before the parachute opening, we had contact with, with them uh, and they spotted us immediately. Uh, so it was, it's always comforting to, to drift down under the parachute, to have them watching over our shoulders, so to mm -hmm. speak, uh, so that we can better anticipate impact on the ground. Of course, when you impact the ground, it's, a, it's quite, a, quite a ride as well. So you now have more time than any other NASA astronaut in history. Where's that, where's that ranking on your list of personal achievements? There's a lot of them. Well, I never aspired to that, um, but it's come. When I'm asked that question, I, uh, what comes to mind is not the personal achievement, as you put it, but more of the, the achievement of this entire partnership in the uh, building of this magnificent orbital outpost we call the International Space Station. And the fact that uh, um, <clears throat> when you consider the number of years and the number of flights it took to launch elements in the, the international um, participation in it and uh, how well it went together overall, even though there were challenges along the way, uh, and now to see it in its uh, full up-utilization and seeing the, the science program expand uh, and become more significant, I believe, than, than I've ever seen it in the mm -hmm. past. That's, that's what comes to mind. It's the achievement of the, of the entire partnership.
and you've been you've been part of and you've seen the station literally grow from its infancy into where it is today and even in this increment you guys added beam you installed the international docking adapter what's it like to see it still growing like it's still not done uh it well it's great it's uh it has a, a future i uh, said a few words yesterday at the change of command and talked to, um, a little bit about the fact that we started this in the 90s. Expedition 1 got there in 2000. We've had continuous human presence. It's 2016 now. There's a bright future for many years going with plans going. And of course, as you mentioned, the uh, international docking adapter opens up the front door again for new vehicles. Um, and my point was, we're already in the second generation of people mm -hmm. that are working in a program. And now we're looking to the future that it's going to cover a third generation of folks. Just on our crew, um, Kate Rubens is, I told her several times, she's uh, young enough to be my daughter. You know, so I, I, even on the crew, we had two generations. Mm. And when I go around to the different uh, partner sites, I see uh, people that have worked the entire program. And then there are people that, you know, count number of months or years that they've worked in the program. So uh, that, that's significant, I think, in the history of human space exploration. Well, you're back on Earth. What are you going to miss most about space? Well, of course, everybody uh, always misses the view. You never get tired of the view of the Earth uh, and all of the infinite number of d details that you can see in the, what's on the surface and the lighting conditions. Um, but I'd also say I'll miss the crew the camaraderie that we and uh, the experience that we shared on board. Uh, I've been blessed over the years with with good crews, uh, every one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but this one had a special chemistry, I think, about it. I mean, we, we, uh, we just had a great experience, great time together. Uh, so I will miss that as well. All right. Well, NASA's Jeff Williams, glad to have you back. Successful mission. Welcome home. Thank you. Good to be back.